and I felt something reach out and touch my back. I got so sick. What's the most haunted room in this hotel? Uh, usually 414 is the one that we get the most reports from. So that is where we're staying tonight. Yeah. So, uh oh. There's the ghost. Beautiful. What do you think, babe? Are we going to find any ghosts? Perhaps. Mayhaps? Perhaps not. It's real quiet in here. Yes, very quiet. It does sound like a dog. But no dogs are allowed here. But the door right, for outside is right there. Okay. I was about to take a shower and we heard like a strange scream. I think they put us by this dog on purpose. Okay, that's a dog then. If you say so. What's going down, Mouse Nation, and welcome back. My beautiful Twerple and I are in Savannah, Georgia, and we're hanging out at one of the most haunted inns in the state. Now, so far we've only heard a dog. Um, that's it. Scared me the first time, but not anymore. But you can see old paintings like this. Might change your mind a bit. Beautiful ceilings. That's weird. So, someone whistled a Christmas tree. You look great. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. We're now walking the beautiful streets of Savannah at night. Wonderful city with a wonderful history. But the reason why we're here, we're staying at the Haunted 1790 Inn, which is very exciting. We're gonna check out some very haunted places. Um, but right now we're actually gonna go out eat because it took four hours to get here and we're hungry. Lots of old places. You can tell by there where it says the year. 1815 this was built. Chabela, real patio bar. So we're headed. Hey, beautiful. What's you drinking? Ghost milk. You can see right <laughs> through it. No, you can't see right through it. Pinot I'm noir. having a gin meal. She's having Pinot Noir. You were just listening to this song on the drive over here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, delicious. This was actually one meal, but they split it in two for us. I just want to say, oh my God, to the steak. That was probably the best steak I've ever had in my life. 
Yeah, it's like the best steak I've ever had in my life. Like we just found this place on Google and we decided to come. It was like a seven minute walk. It was the opposite way from all the other restaurants and bars. And uh, Chabella, delicious. Uh, I already give it, give it five stars. Everyone's really nice. Uh, wonderful music, beautiful ambiance. All right, so we already had some delicious food, the best ribeye I've ever had in my entire life. At a small spot away from all the, you know, hustle and bustle of Savannah. But right now we're gonna actually head to a ghost tour. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll pick up some haunts. Maybe we won't. I don't know. All I know is that we're having a great time. What if we caught something on this creepy smear? Oh yeah, we're in this creepy room. Do I think scared? Oh, she looks creepy. So we're here at Colonial Park Cemetery. Supposed to be extremely haunted. We'll see if we catch anything. There's a lot going on, lots of tours, so I don't think ghosts like that very much. Sure, but about four or five months ago, I was standing here and I felt something reach out and touch my back like that. I swear on whatever you want me to swear. And so, what do you do when that happens, right? Run. Now I kept going. Which is awesome. It's got at least two good stories. So who here feels compassionate for goats? Yeah, like you want to like cross little children over and stuff, like you worry about them. And it's mostly the pouts. Well, in a minute, um, you can get up on the curb if you want. I mean, you can do it now if you want. But um, just remember to not step in the street. And um, probably don't you have a little girl here. And um, she is seen mostly in the window that is next to the lower balcony. I have a few pictures I can show you. Uh, and then they're on the internet, too. You can see her. And, Sleeping. They're renovating it for two years. So. It looks nice. Look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks great. We just had an awesome, awesome tour with Nicole. We had a great time. She was really nice. I got some vibes from this right here I feel something right here I don't know if I can get anything on camera or maybe from sound anybody here that bench that bench like give me those chills Maker. Looks like it. Ooh, 
running out of battery. Hello. Welcome to Running Out of Battery. <laughs> with your host, Battery. Battery? Is your name Battery now? I'm running out. <laughs> the battery is running out. This is Pirate's House. Parking. Oh. Where people who go to Pirate's House park. park. <laughs> Hey, love. Hi. Where are we? On Earth. Okay, well, you're correct, but we're also somewhere else. At this pirate hangout. I don't see any pirates. Actually, I do. I'm lying. They're just dead. Riesling. Riesling? Yeah. The Skull Crusher. What's this, baby? Muscles. Oh, I don't have enough muscles for you? Uh-oh. Well, I spotted my shirt. You did? Oh, jeez. Right there. Oh, so, <laughs> baby, where are we? We're at Marshall House. Marshall House! So, anyways, <laughs> we are at the Marshall House. One of the most haunted places in Savannah. One of the most haunted Hotels, scary. What room are we in? Four fourteen. We're in room four. Hold on, four fourteen. And you know what's funny? I asked for a haunted room jokingly. I said, I want to see some gosh dang ghosts. I was like, wait, why is our room not ready when we got here? And uh, come to find out, after talking to some other guests, we're in one of the most haunted rooms, or if not the most haunted room in the Marshall House. Room 414. Um, so we'll see. Last night we had some creepy stuff. I'm going to talk about that more about the 1790 in another video. But tonight we're going to talk all about the Marshall House. I'm actually going to record some stuff because I wish I would have recorded our nighttime happenings at the 1790. So I'm going to record some stuff here. Uh, it should be a good time. We're going to go get some pizza, have some drinks. And tonight we're going to a very haunted place and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope I meet a ghost because I've been dying to meet one <laughs> I just want to catch some real concrete proof on my camera I mean I've gotten EVPs I've gotten weird sounds I've gotten all kinds of cool stuff uh, traveling but we're gonna start traveling more me and my beautiful twerple and hopefully you guys come along and we talk more about it I just want to be that person that gets some concrete proof of, about ghosts because I am very sensitive to supernatural happenings. You guys know I love supernatural things. You guys know I love urban legends. But to meet a ghost or to hear a ghost or to see a ghost, that's what it's all about. We're going to somewhere creepy and dark tonight. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So we'll see you then. So here's our room. Room 414. Do you think they were just trying to creep us out, babe? They didn't know, right? How would they have known? We were in an elevator. Yeah. So we were in an elevator. Tell, tell the story, because it wouldn't be realistic if I told it. Okay, right. I'll put like I'll put like a blurred I'm face. I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> okay, but talk loudly. Okay, so we were in the elevator, <laughs> and there was this couple, and they were like, yeah, we saw something last night, but we're not even in the haunted room, 414. And I was like, what? We're in 414. And they're like, you're joking. And I said, no. And I was like, check the car. And we weren't sure. She, then, she said, check the card, by the way, our room, our room card. to the room, 414, and we're like, oh, snap, that's our room. <laughs> I never saw them again in my life. I mean, we just got in here. We never left, so that makes sense. And. <laughs> okay, and so just to show you guys that we're not joking, we are in room 414. It's 415. The pal. Room 
414. They were in that room over there. Look at this weird ass carpet, it's all crooked. But our room is nice, I like it. Beautiful little fireplace, probably doesn't work, so that's okay. LG TV. That'd be cool if we saw like a ghost in this like reflection. Let me see. Are we seeing? No, that's me. No ghosts. That's fine. Or well, if we heard something in an EVP, that'd be cool. You got you like to talk to me, ghosts. So, what's going down? Now nah, it's very quiet. I don't hear anything. So if I get something on EVP, I'm not catching it right now, like with my actual ears. So if something pops up then it's totally like just on camera or on my microphone you ready baby mm -hmm. let's go Look. i'm gonna ask what's those on a room here so that way i know that they're not just tricking us even though they would have not known but... all right we're in the elevator Anything creepy in the elevator? You feel anything? I don't feel anything. I haven't felt like anything weird. What do you think? Well, there's, I can still see her in the mirror, so that didn't really work. Oh, her. my knees. Oh, yeah. We're old. We're getting older. Um, anything? This number three turned into a number two. Oh, scary. What's the most haunted room in this hotel? Uh, usually 414 is the one that we get the most reports from. So that is where we're staying tonight. Yeah. So, uh oh. Thank you. What's your name? <laughs> Ken. Ken. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, of I course. appreciate it. After you. <laughs> Who remembers the slush puppy? Icy before the icy. And Bud Light. Ah, yeah. Right in here with this camera. <laughs> All right, let's record a bit because this is supposedly the most haunted room in this hotel. I'm just going to kind of talk a bit, hang out. Um, so we're still in the Marshall house. We've heard a lot of cool stuff. Like, what have we heard, baby? Like, people hear footsteps outside of the door, but no voices, nobody's out there. Um, even footsteps in this very small fireplace, which I think is understandable. There's no one above us. We're on the top floor. So I don't think it's from that, but maybe from downstairs or something. But I haven't heard anything. Um, also, I just want to let you guys know, I haven't felt anything. No negative vibes here. Uh, even when I had an experience over at the 1790, it wasn't a negative vibe. It wasn't anything... Uh, it wasn't any kind of negative spirit. It was something um, not even positive. It was neutral. So here I don't feel anything, to be honest. And so tonight we're going to the Soul Weed House. So we're very excited to go check that place out. We'll see what happens there. We'll see what I feel. But so far in the most haunted room at the Marshall House, I don't feel anything. Um, that doesn't mean there's nothing here. It just means maybe they don't want to present themselves to us yet. Maybe too early. I don't feel anything. I feel normal. I feel fine. I don't feel anything. It's just kind of pushing on my own, um, my spirit, my soul, or anything like that. So it's a beautiful hotel. I like it so far. Everyone's been so friendly and nice. But we'll kind of see what happens as we go. All right, so my hair's crazy right now. Woke up with crazy hair, but not only that. Last night, last night, I got so sick. Like, my headache, my stomach, everything. I wanted to record us being here last night and kind of maybe see if we could catch anything. Um, but I'll get more into the story. It's just like at the last hotel I had an experience. Here I had a different kind of experience. Um... 
I don't know if it was paranormal or not. I don't know if the two were connected in some way. Uh, I also had, a, you know, an experience at the Sora Weed House, or Sorrel Weed House. I guess I've been saying that wrong. I didn't know. Um, but, yeah, super bad headache, super bad stomach ache. I wasn't dehydrated. I wasn't hungover or anything like that. Um, it was very weird. My wife ended up getting the same uh, nausea later later at night when I was already asleep. I had to take, like, medication to go to sleep because it was so... Uh, so bad it hurts so badly um so sorry to get to film more here more here at the marshall house but next time i come i do look forward to it um and i'll kind of give you guys a review of everything we'll kind of go location by location and, and talk about what i felt and what i saw and i'm excited about that so hopefully you guys are too